Hey everybody, my name is Keith Silats. I'm a TA here in the um, data mining class. The first part is about the portfolio management and then uh, the second part is going to be um, high frequency data and um, and how to do high frequency trading where uh, the data sets are much bigger. Than what you want to do is you want to download uh, what is called a, a VHT file. You'll see a bunch of download buttons. If you click them and you download them, you get these files. Uh, you see a little exit file. I can't open that one obviously on a Mac, but if you click on any of the other files and you have uh, uh, UnRAR installed, it, it's gonna it's gonna unpack everything, including the Excel file. It's gonna figure out what it is. So then the next step is you need to install uh, VirtualBox. So there are nice instructions here on how you're gonna get the VirtualBox. You go to the website. And you download it, make sure you install the uh, extension back as well. So, so once you have VirtualBox installed, what you do is you, um, you create the new, um, virtual machine. You pick, um, Windows 2008, call it something. Um, make sure you give it like two gigs of memory. And make sure you uncheck this, that you don't have a startup disk. It will, um, it will create the disk, and then, and then what you do is, is you go here, under settings, under um, storage, and you click on this button to add the VHD file that you just unzipped it for from the raw file. Right. Once then, what you do is you start it, and if all goes well, it should come up. I have the username and password here in the in the file. These are the back default ones. The next thing you should do is you should install the guest editions from here, and then and then enable a shares folder so you can change data between uh, your Mac and whatever your other operating system is. This uh, evaluation will last 10 days and you have four times to restart it. These are the instructions here. You can, you can restart them. You can restart the thing. For those who have never seen Windows, the command prompt is right here. And this will tell you how many days you have left. You have nine days left. So here you go. Okay. Then the, um, Next thing, what you want to do is you want to install Office. So then you get a you get a free download, free um, evaluation version, and then um, you do this inside the virtual machine already because otherwise it doesn't work. So you know, get get started here, and you have to register, and you will get your own product key. Next thing is you want to get some data, so. So there are two big things. There is um, either you have bonds or you have stocks, and then those portfolio management systems are kind of separate. I'm gonna do your tutorial based on stocks, although most of the time you'll see that um, you know working on bonds might be might be a little more interesting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the standard Poor's S&P 500 index. And these are the stocks in that index that you get here. Now, to make this interesting, I want to get some kind of a risk measure. And I want to get, so I want to get two risk measures. One is called the beta and the other one is called the sector. So I'm going to break those 500 companies into sectors. And then I'm going to each, give each one of them a beta. So the key trick here is, is going to be this. If, if you own $1,000 in a stock that have high beta, that's going to be more risky than owning thousand dollars in a stock that has a smaller beta and um, what we're gonna do is 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 um, we're gonna basically um, import in this s p 500 and then we're gonna import in a bunch of accounts and we're gonna pretend that that those accounts want to they have some kind of alpha rate right? so they have some kind of uh, they have some kind of reason why they want to own certain stocks your, your goal is then to manage the risk. You can copy this into Excel, or um, the better version, the better way to do it is you can open up uh, a DD Ameritrade account free. 
and then and then you'll be able to kind of try it out. I mean, you see here you get you get up to six hundred bucks in cash if you open up free account. So uh, that makes it a little easier to get real time data. You know, you see like how much money you make and what your portfolio composition is. And I have a little portfolio here of different ETFs, and you know it's been making money, so it's good. Now, what you want to do is you can go to this thing called the screener. You can create the screen and you can pick an index of S&P 500 and you get your 500 stocks. Now I have a couple of extra columns. I have a column for the beta which is the um, I can proxy that by the risk. I have something called the dividend yield, which is which is how much money you make every year from the stock. So, for example, if I wanted to sort by that, I got this thing called Frontier Communication at 16%. These guys are probably gonna go bankrupt. But you know, if you look at like AT&T, for example, they have a 5% dividend yield. So, if you were to buy their stock they would pay you 6% every year. And I also have the sector here. And I have two two sectors. I have a sector in the industry. So sector is kind of a subsect. So this is more detailed. Industry is more detailed. Okay. Now the cool thing is you can export the data. Fortunately, this thing exports in some kind of a weird broken Excel format. So you need Excel 2010 to open it. You also get all sorts of cool stuff here. Like research but unfortunately you can't export it easily so you might have to copy and paste it by hand you might want to group your stocks for example by the growth not just by the sectors but you might want to group certain growth stocks and value stocks and you want to make sure that you have equal amount of each one of them once i have this excel installed i can open up the thing in a weird format right so uh, it's just a quick tutorial of how far you can get stuff done in Excel. You can save it as a CSV file to get rid of all the formatting. Okay, close this. Then you can reopen it in a CSV format. So what you want to do is you want to you want to have your first column as something as titles, right? So then that, that will allow you to do stuff. So now what you want to do is is the market cap. You might want to format this as a number. So you see if it's to the left hand side, it's not a number; it's a text. Same thing here in the dividend. You see that it's a text, and then here beta is a text, right? So so the trick here is to figure out what's making it the text. So it's these first two letters here and it's not a space in before the dollar sign so what you want to do is you want to control C to copy it to a clipboard and control F to do find control V to paste and then you replace it with nothing okay that's good it still didn't work because you have the letter B there for the billion so you replace that as well there you go okay good so so this worked and uh, you want to do the same thing here copy that is control C and then so now we have now we have betas so we have the so now we, what we can do is is we can do a pivot table so um, just to make sure that all the data is good so we can do let's see what sectors do we have we have those sectors and then if we do market capitalization we see the total market cap of the S&P 500 and then we could see the percentage in different sectors. Oops. Uh, okay, so what we'll see here is is um, is that the technology is almost twenty percent, services and other big category, and then you know the standard sectors are consumer cyclical and consumer non cyclical, right? So 